you got, Chloe? You got yourself a bone. And you're going to show it to the, the camera. You, yeah, you Or good. he's going to taunt Bruce with it. Did you steal it from Bruce again, Chloe? How come Bruce loves me more than you? I don't know. Your buttons loves cool. me. You want cuddle buttons? No, Buttons just wants to be stupid. Like Buttons does. Hey guys, welcome back to another Gone Rogue. We're keeping our shit alive here and we got a sad one for you today. So it has begun. The apocalypse of Magic the Gathering. Well, I honestly looking at things, Magic is still in pretty good shape. But I am foreseeing a lot of this happening in the next couple months because this always seems to happen when there is a downturn in Magic. Then we get people just cold turkey and quit the game. So this one breaks my heart because this is actually one of our favorite customers that's just done with magic and moving out of this stuff. This is also another thing that's very typical with Magic the Gathering is you seem to get these these uh, these kids in like what? When did when did Link start playing? Thirteen. Like Thirteen. They hang around the store. Zach and I always joke we always have our kids here that end up just spending every waking moment here. And I swear all their parents owe us child support how many times we feed them and, and whatnot. But anyway, um, uh, so he, of course he's, he's grown up and moved on and in his own words, it's magic just isn't fun anymore. So nope. we have a collection that is gonna come in and I'm just gonna kind of show you kind of the stuff here and talk about how I foresee a lot of this stuff well, in the is, future. And what's really sad about this is we've seen how much it's devalued yeah. in the, the Well, past, and so. this is just the start of it. He's got, still got to bring down a 5,000 box. And I, so. I, I, we're trying to talk him out of it because this is what I've learned and Zach has learned this from experience too. It's how many times have all of us gone through this of where we're like, well, I'm in a different place in life. You know, now he's in his 20s. He's, you know, out chasing girls, that type of stuff. And it's like, okay, I don't have time for magic. I no longer like magic. But let me tell you from a word of advice from old man Kevin, is hobbies come back into your life when you least expect them or and I, I i discourage people just fire selling their collection just keep on a few things i know that the, some people don't want the temptation of like okay if i keep this i'll i'll uh, invest back into it i don't want to get sucked back into just the money pit that is magic the gathering but at the same time don't don't just destroy your hobbies with Life is ever changing and life moves quick and fast and then you're back into positions and and then you're, you're gonna want these type of stuff So that is my my advice. I've seen it happen. This is a game store owner over and over How many times have we bought collections from the same person and then gets know. back in the game like two years later and then and just like geez save yourself some money save yourself some heartache and just you know you don't have to cold turkey your hobbies if you're just down on it for a while but I am foreseeing a lot more of this because it's just this is just like, I, I understand it. I don't know if I would still be with this game if I wasn't so married to it. Um, there are some stupid comments on some of our videos about, um, well, I was complaining about Commander Masters and just how stores are gonna get crushed. Um, and then I get that yeah. ridiculous comment again about snacks, about selling snacks and TC. I mean, they make a corner on candy and bars now. Our sales are Okay, when Pokemon's hot, it's a little bit different. But now that Pokemon's cold again, our sales are like 90% plus magic. It's like magic is the whole yep. reason why game stores are allowed to survive. Without Magic the Gathering, they collapse. Yep. Or at least you'll be down to these little super niche ones that can only exist in you know the, the really big cities. But as far as smaller cities, or as far as having a variety of different stores, Magic the Gathering is the whole reason why these stores exist. And it's funny because I see these store owners, especially board game players, I've talked about this before. They were like, oh, I'm gonna start a board game store. We, we were always playing at our house, might as well have a store to play. And they'll um, they'll start a store and carry board games. And I don't wanna do magic, magic's toxic. We don't want magic here. And then reluctantly at first, and then they just realize you have to sell Magic the Gathering. So if Magic the Gathering collapses, if people, if these stores really do get completely crushed by Commander Masters, by the way, I do need to show everyone the WPN comments right now on Facebook oh page. Holy my cow. Gosh. Usually Zach and I are the negative people when we're only ones like 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 warning and be like, hey, this is a bad sign. This bad. Every store owner has just lost it with Magic. Well, there's with, so with many Magic of them. Masters. I don't think I can recover. I just have piles of product it now. It's like over like 400 comments on that little thread. Yeah. Typically what they do is they, they release a survey every time they release a set. How'd your release go for, for X set? And everyone just, just 
just absolutely like there isn't one positive one person put positive on that or very positive view you know cheerleaders of course lots yeah. of employees probably put positive release but the vast majority are negative or very negative yeah. and it's it's that is a huge uh, a change in the sentiment because typically a lot of these people are diehard cheerleaders and wizards can never do wrong and it's like oh you just need to do better at your sale blah 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 if you had a bad experience we had a wonderful there are so many times i remember it was like unclued or the last yeah. set where we're like what in the world was this? Did he even like announce it? Like, this like, well, you need to run your store better. You know, that kind of, those type of comments. Yeah. We had a great turnout type of thing. And it's just, but now when everyone's on board, that's a bad sign. But kind of going back to these comments too about magic, this is, you can see this collection is I could sell, I could sell I snacks, forgot. like I've said, um, until I turn on my uh, customer's diabetic. I could sell board games. You know, we could fill up truckloads of board games and they still wouldn't. You know, make us money. So yep. anyway, I think people just want to kind of see what this person's like. So it looks like a, a booster box that hasn't even been sorted. So yeah, this he is got it forever ago because he was going to get back in when it came out, and then and then did nothing. nothing well, they had a pretty good it. box, but it was Azu there. Yeah, but Azu, that was it though. But like none of yeah, the rest true. of that's covering anything. Well, I think I think a lot of these cards. I think some of them have been already reprinted. reprinted. Exactly. I mean, this set's still in standard, and yeah. cards have already been reprinted. There's yeah, there. it's it's ridiculous. A couple play mats. Couple That's kind of cool. Did you draw this one? The gone yeah. one? Oh, look at Zach. That's how much, how much we love Ling. He just brought this down because so, to look through it. But. Exfolio. Oh, this oh, is this flesh is and blood. blood. This is flesh. Oh, yeah, we did get him into flesh and blood here. This game's still going pretty strong. This is actually a game you can make money on as a store because the newer sets are actually selling for decent. Like, like TC players, like 90 bucks a box, you get it for 60. Just, that's decent. Yeah, profit. that's not bad. It's, yeah, it's not just bad depending on the type of people you get that play the game. For what, Flesh and Blood? Yeah. Well, the problem with Flesh and Blood is it's like, you take the ultra competitive, spiky mentality uh, of magic, and that's, yeah. or you get well, casual. But you're talking yeah. about super casual ones then. Yeah, okay, so, I see what you're saying. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe we can look and see. What are you doing? I can't, it's got a giant okay. glare, so I have oh, no idea what you want me to film. I don't know, we're just kind of showcasing it of okay, stuff. Okay, glare. So, I'm getting yelled at by Zach. We need to take well, it in the other room. We are so prepared here at this, this rogue deck builder. You just made a random video. So, hey, there's my favorite Marinette Master card yeah. ever printed. So yeah. there are still some signs, though, in Magic the Gathering. That is, have you seen, like, the old prices of the Yeah. It was some like, of them are just spiking. The yeah, I mean, Zendikar's almost actually worth opening up again. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's ridiculous. How many of those? All we probably had tons of those, huh? We had quite a few, We, we but we slowly, slowly yeah. sold them. Yeah. Now, nothing like, I, as, as long as... We had packets and packets of those suckers. For a while, I think we conduits. both. Mo did we both? No, did we both? There was no. A couple we, of I them. never bought conduits. So, for sure. oh, okay. Um, but so, but it's just one that's gone into every Eldrazi deck forever. Yeah, just or not just Eldrazi. Combat. Anything convert mana cost six or greater. Yeah, yeah, type yeah. Stuff. Exactly. So, it's a lot of com so combos with it, but yeah. As you can see, this collection was pretty pretty loved here. We've got some Modern Horizons so, too. I know we had already sold a oh, bunch of Oh, by the way, Modern Horizons 3 announced. Are you guys kidding me? Oh, I was going to do a big video yesterday, and I was just like, I got to step away. I can't do a video where I'll be completely negative, and like, then I'll be the one that's just, you know, spewing, ve spewing venom because the releases yesterday were just, or over the weekend the of what their, their announcements, they're just really turning this game into an IP grab. And then they're not learning. Like, Modern Horizons 3 needs to be canceled now. They yes. need to cancel it now. It's, yes. it's ridiculous. It's a. Uh, uh, Modern Horizons 2 is still on the shelves. They can't do another one. And how are they going to push the envelope? How are they going to power creep it enough that they're going to get people excited for Modern Horizons 3? Isn't there like 12 sets? There's well, going to be a new product, a new box product every next month. Year, every month, yes, every month. Next year. Every month there's going to be a new release. For we some. don't have room. Come here. Two remastered Come here. Let sets. me show you something. Come here, Kevin. Look at this. I know I've said it before. Where am I supposed to put anything? Look, we have the last 15 years. Yeah, this, okay. This is Pioneer. Well, forward. since 2014 yep. forward. But yep. this is all currently standard from Zendikar all the way to, on? well, well, yeah. the, the yeah, current, so we well, within the last yeah. two years. But well, we have stuff even up 2014, on the top yep, exactly. Yeah, and it's it's completely taken over. Where are we supposed to put product? Well, I mean, a lot of stores aren't like us. A lot of stores yeah. just have the latest stuff. In fact, Wizards likes that. They want people just to fire, sell everything and not... Like, what used to be really cool about Magic is the old stuff aged... I've said this again. I sound like a uh, repeating robot here, but the old stuff aged like fine wine. It was... it's yep. it, it just continued to appreciate in value, and the reprints never outpaced the growth and what they're what's happening right now is this, it's they're not there's no way they're, they're reprinting way too much for the growth they haven't really we haven't found the true 
uh, state of Magic the Gathering yet because I think that FOMO has just continued to um, kind of catapult the sales along yeah. because there are people like, okay, well, this is going to be the last set. They're the addicts at this point. Well, okay. No. this is. But I think we're seeing with Commander Masters is people like, okay, I said this is going to be the last set. I'm Lord of the Rings is my last one for a while. I'm not going to go into Commander no. Masters because my personal thoughts about Commander Masters are not as doom and gloom as most people. If you actually look, I mean, there are some some stupid inclusions for sure, like these ten dollar cards from Commander Masters 2014 or Commander 2014. Obviously, if they get reprinted, they're knocking over ten bucks, and they've been no. power creep so bad that who cares about a lot of these lieutenant mechanics or you know all these like terrible cards that were good in 2014 that are not good now, and the only thing that was keeping them expensive was just the rarity of them and so they were reprinted in a or down even worse downshifted from a mythic yeah. and reprinted in this set then you know they're bulk they're bulk at this time they don't add any value towards it so yeah there's some weird inclusions for sure in commander masters and there are some too soon reprints in commander masters but when all is said and done about the set if they were going to make a hiatus from master sets from reprints for a while it would be a really good set long term because a yeah. lot of the cards that are included in them are just evergreen in commander Unless, again, but, they do two things wrong. They continue the reprints, like Smothering Tithe, like, like Doubling, Doubling Season, season in the next, next set. Month. And they continue to power creep like crazy, yeah. like Modern Horizons and Lord of the Rings. Well, Going well, back to the modern format. Even even these are so power creep. That's the problem yes, we've been yes, having with singles. Yes. Every set now, you got to think, has a, a majority of the sets in standard have like four to nine hundred different cards in the set because of all the commander cards because of all the extra reprints and everything else they uh, there's like 600 different cards in the set itself with everything included not the different arts yeah i mean it's there's only a couple insane. directions they can go now if it, when they've they've just like the power creep is what's concerning me the most because like yes. i said look back at modern uh modern uh the format is now just lord of the rings plus modern horizons 2. there are very few cards that that uh come from outside yeah. that you have like the one ring and orcish bowmasters and then of course like the cards like subtlety and all those cards that are just dominating the format so wizards even kind of killed that either they have yeah. to power creep everything out of the game which then makes of course these older sets just even worse and worse like we we're joking around in the last uh video that if dragons of tarkir is such a pathetic set that i mean it's still like it's going down it's going like the the sealed boxes of dragon tree are going down because there's just nothing good in it but if you yeah. would have actually invested in these dumb dice from the cons era like these these dice are worth a lot from the, yeah. the pre-release one that would have been a way better investment on. uh that was a fate one but i mean we do have some dragons in there that would have been a way better investment than going into this crap they're like 50 60 dollars like for a set of all the dice well, the problem my, with dragons my here, how many of those dragons have been reprinted over and over yeah and over yeah since yeah then? everything from every set yeah. like dragon's mace has finally had down. every single card in that set reprinted I don't know. It's just making me sad seeing Magic go like this. Yeah, it's just too, too much, too quickly without anything. And then uh, my other point with Commander Masters is why in the world didn't they have a massive event around it? So people could be asking me if I'm going to the MG Summit, which is going to be in Salt Lake again. I guess it was really good last year. And it's just kind of pathetic that a, that a third party can make a better gathering a better event than Wizards of the Coast can. That they're just failing and failing and failing. I guess Barcelona was the biggest crap show ever. That people were so disappointed by the events and just the the who are around it. And I don't know. I don't know what they need to do, but they need to just somehow they need to rethink, reevaluate and, and and be like, okay, do we want to be Magic Gathering or we want to be a cheapo we want to go kind of the Marvel the Disney Marvel route and just like start going after IPs and crossovers and all this other crap that is not Sorry, sustainable it's... in the future. It's quick bucks. It killed games like Dice Masters and a few other of these others that started to go that route. It's these quick. I mean, that's kind of sad that Pokemon is now the one keeping its IP really clean. And I know it's too bad sad. The game sucks well, don't they that. remember what happened in Chronicles? Well, I mean, well, Chronicles I mean, is it's, a different it's a time little, period, but that yeah. wasn't even IP grabbing. That was just yeah. printing stuff. Well, that's. And and yeah, they needed to, to just realize that they didn't, they, you know, they needed to have, you know, some uh, very clear and concise way of doing things. And that's, you know, I need to do a whole market video. They need to, they need to do a repair hiatus, in my opinion. I mean, the, the big uh, no-brainer one right now and the, the kind of the, the red line of crossing is they should never reprint a card if it's currently in a standard like set. set. Yeah. Because what they've done is they, they have a policy that as long as there's a standard based, like if, if, if uh, it is still in standard, but they're going to make sure there's supply for it. Yeah. So that means it reprints like Kamigawa. Kamigawa is actually a really good set that would have been doing quite well right now if it hadn't been. Uh, and they, they probably should be reprinting it because it's still in standard. But 
that Kamigawa's got multiple reprints already. Yeah. Of it. Yeah, there's tons of cards and in it. It's all over the place. So the, now the stores can't make money on Kamigawa though because they just they went too far on that. They overestimate the supply. I'm actually looking at Brothers War. Brothers War is insane. Have you see the price on Brothers War? The, like, the price? Like singles in it? It's, I, it is I now think, positive ED to be opening up Bro- Brothers War I like War boxes. Brothers War. I mean, there were, I, I'm sick of the so, extra set that can't be played in standard in the packs, but oh yeah, it's holding yeah. great value if you just want to open up packs for leagues and stuff that we do that you can use whatever. Well, I mean, there's good, yeah, there's good cards that are seen play in, in multiple formats, and it's just it's just showing that, that, that for me, for like a, a $70 Shieldred and Brothers War having positive pack EV now, if you were to actually buy it, distribute it across and open it and sell on, you know, eBay or TC Player for the singles, it's showing to me that no one, everyone is just so, like, out of money and out of just desire to be yeah. opening these type of packs that they're not moving. Like, $70 Shieldred is just crazy. Yeah, I think it's insane. It's been a long so. time since we've seen a seventy dollars card in standard, yep. and it's not indicative of a healthy market per se. It's yep. more indicative of like a really weird, unstable market. And this is what you see: you see these massive volatilities with Eldrazi spiking through the roof, while other cards are just down to nothing as the boys are just fighting in the back. Yeah. Of anyway, I have rambled long and long. I was going to show you that that collection, but I think this made for a good video for I don't know Kevin's TED talk today about uh, where we're going. So again, I think it's is what it is we're going to continue to run the store until you know we can't <laughs> or i transition over to, uh, to something else but um yeah sorry for being a downer lately sorry for the lack of magic content on my other channels it's just like it's hard for me as a creative personality to actually want to be motivated to do content for something that i'm just absolutely disgusted by at the moment so until then you'll just get my store talk and my rant videos and, well, well. and i guess these dogs being weirdos and and uh yeah, getting a good sniff there, huh? Oh, gosh. All righty. Oh. We'll hey, see you guys there. We'll have the TikTok shop, shop up and running. So if you want some prints or painted stuff, I'll, I'll have that available soon. Say, huh, send Bruce? me treats. Send me treats. You want treats, Bruce? Do you want some chicken? Who wants chicken? Ah!